Welcome to Build Edge. I am Keymark Product Manager Aaron Dietzen, and I want to walk you through inputting and editing doors in Build Edge Plan 3.0. I'm going to hop into SketchUp here. I have a couple of walls and a floor drawn here. I'm just going to use this to put some doors in. To put in a door, of course, I'm in the door window mode um, on the Add Door Window subtool. Also, a Select subtool to select and make changes to existing doors. The ability to move doors with the Move tool and the trash icon to throw out selected doors. Uh, in here, I'm going to set the properties of the door I'm going to place. I'm going to place a door. I'm going to place a swing door. There are other door types. We'll talk about those in a second. Right now, I'm just going to work with a standard swing door. I have a width of the opening and a height of the opening. This is actually the width and height of the physical door itself. So right now, the actual door that will hang on the wall is going to be three foot wide and six foot eight tall. It's also going to have three foot of trim. So I'm going to start placing by clicking on the wall. Now first thing I want to point out here is that when I get that outline, it's dotted. So the dotted tells me that this door is going to fall away from me as I view it right now. So me looking at the outside, when this door opens, it's going to open into this little building I've created. By hitting the down arrow on the keyboard, I can turn that outline solid. That says that this is going to actually swing out towards me as I view the wall. So that means that as it opens, it's going to come at me. The other thing I see on here is that little shape on the left side indicating that it's actually going to be hung on the left side. So the hinges will be on the left as I look at it here. I can toggle that too by hitting the down arrow again. In this case, it's going to swing out towards me, but be hung on the right side down arrow again, it's going to swing away from me into the building on the right side, down arrow another time, it's going to swing into the building from the left side. So just tapping the down arrow key or the up arrow key lets you toggle through those possible placement scenarios. The other thing I can change here is by hitting the left or right arrow key. Just like with Windows in the previous video, I can actually toggle through my four placement locations. So that is left side of the wall to the left side of the opening, left side to center, right side to center, right side to right side. So I can toggle through that just by hitting the left or right arrow key. Uh, once I do that, I can slide. Remember, this placement is going to anchor this door to either one wall or the other. So in this case, if I pull this right wall off to the right side, this wall, or this door is going to hold its relative dimension to that right side. And of course, I can overwrite the dimension that's being displayed there by just typing it into the measurements field at the lower right side. So I'm just going to type three foot in and hit enter, and it's going to place that opening. Now, what it did when it placed that opening, there we go, it did put a door in, it drew a little swing on the, so on the ground, and it placed that based on my preview that I had up there. So I had the dotted line, so it swung in inside. The uh, shape was on the right, so it's anchored on the right side. If I want to come in and edit this door, I can click Edit, choose the door, and make changes. I'm going to say that I want to bump the trim width up. I have a five foot, five inch trim. I'm going to type that in, apply changes, and my trim grows. Likewise, if I need to move it, I can click move, click on the door. Not only can I move it, but I can actually use my toggle keys to change how that door is going to swing and change how I want to anchor it. So I can do that, click there. So now it's swinging out towards me and it's uh, moved to a different location in the wall. And likewise, if I need to delete it, I can pick any door and just hit the trash key to get rid of it. Now all that was done with the standard door, I do have on the back side of this building some more doors, a little door showroom here. Uh, first door I have here is a bifold, uh, then a double bifold. Next to that is a bypass door, then a garage door, and a cased opening. And again, if you remember, the first door I input was that standard swing door. I'll go ahead and place that in again like that. So there's the different door types. Again, any of these can be edited for width or height or have their trim changed. Uh, once I do input this, I can interact with the door by clicking on the interact command in SketchUp. It's the standard SketchUp command. If I click on a swing door, I can tell it to swing open or close. 
Same goes for my bifolds. Bifolds actually have three different swing locations. Uh, the default is the 45 degrees, but if I click on it, it'll actually go all the way open. Same with the double. Click it again, it will go all the way closed. And then clicking it again, we'll go back to 45. With the bypass or slider door, I can click on each of the individual doors those door slabs and let them slide past each other. So you can orient those however you want to, uh, whatever looks best for either your model or your section. The garage door will go from a closed state like this or roll all the way up to an open state. So if I look at this from below, I can see that's just up there. It doesn't, it's not segmented, it doesn't roll up in a real fancy way right now. It's either all the way open or all the way closed, but it's good enough to give you an idea of how much space is needed for the garage door to roll back uh, and also give you the option of open or closed. The final door opening type is the cased opening. A cased opening is just that. It's just an opening uh, with trim around it. There is no actual door there. Uh, that is about it for doors. If you do have any more questions, please feel free to contact us at buildedge at keymark.com or swing by our website, www.buildedge.com. Thank you very much.